Hello everybody, so this is your extra task for um, inserting and creating a table. Now where this is, yeah, this is task number six. It says in the top, read the instructions or txt file which will tell you how to create a new table for this task. Where do we find instructions or txt? On the left hand side here you'll see instructions or txt. So there it is and gives you instructions. Today we are going to insert some new dot into our database. This time we are going to create a table to store information on ones. You might notice the SQL page is empty. That's because we are going to create our own table and fill it in. Okay, it's not empty. This has already been done here, but we're reading the instructions. So this is the create table. So you're going to type that into your main SQL, like this has been typed in here. And what is, what is it? It's creating a table called WAND, open brackets. We have WAND ID, now that is going to be a primary key. We have length, wood, what kind of wood is the, um, is the one made out of? And the core, I'm not quite sure what that is. I guess it must be some kind of a naming convention. But the length is a float, which means it's a decimal number. We've had integers before, now we have floats. Let's go back to the instructions. So that is what you typed in. So, oh, it's telling us what it is. Wand is the name of the table, and the fields, wand ID, and we're going to enter some wand information. Try the below. Perhaps adding a few of your own here. Yeah, we have Cedric, Hermians, and Dumbledores, and Voldemort, and Harry's wands. So there is the data that you've got to put into your main SQL on the left hand side you'll see it there. Click on there and then we're going to we're going to type in this main data into the SQL code. Right, as you'll see from the instructions. So we're inserting those rows into the one table. So it's not the wizard table, it's called a table called WAND with different column or field headings. Right, question one. Add some select tape measurements to view the table you've just created. Well, there's a whole lot we can deal with. Here's one. We want to select everything. So we say select one RD length, wood, and core. That's all the columns. One RD length, wood, and core from the one table. And we put a semicolon at the end. And you run it. And there we'll see all the data is displayed from that table. Right, so we're just displaying the column headings as we saw them over there. Right, so let's put comments in front of that. Then select, let's see another one for displaying. Let's select or display the length and the wood from the one table where the one rd equals four. So we want to display this one, four. And we're only displaying the length and the width. So this is just some random select statements that you can put in uh, to show that you understand how to write S select statements for this new table over here. And then the next one that's over here is just displaying the core from the one table, where the one rd equals four. So, um, if we want to display the length and the unicorn, the, the core from all the different uh, rows, you can do that. So let's go and make another one here. Select. Um, I want to display the core first, comma length from one semicolon. So there's another display. So you're displaying the core and this length column here, which is our float um, data type. I'm pressing run, so there we have the, the core and then the length displayed from the one table. Next one, question two. Order the select statement by the one length in descending order. You might want to look at, back at task four for an example on how to do this. Well, what we're going to do is order by, so this last query over here, where I displayed the core and the length, I'm going to order it by the length in um, descending order. 
So let call comma length from one. Then I'm going to add order by length and then DESC. And you put a semicolon at the end. So select call, wait, we, and yeah, I've just basically used that same query, but I've added an order by over there. I'll run it, and then you're going to have the same display, the call and the length, all the calls and the length, and then you're putting the length in order from the highest number down to the lowest. Okay, try that by yourself.